ladies. Shopping for that perfect pair of jeans is a pain point for many of us. It ranks right up there with the dreaded swimsuit shopping. Well, joining me now is Christina Clyburn. She's known as the Millennial Mom. She's the founder of a successful blog and an influencer and fashion is part of her jam. So this millennial is going to give this Gen Xer some advice on shopping for jeans, the latest looks and trends and how to find the perfect fit. Christina, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for so having me. So let's go jean shopping. Okay, we all know the big buzzwords right now are skinny jeans and middle parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone who's anyone knows you can't wear skinny jeans and you have to wear your hair straight down the middle. Right. I'm a firm believer that we, you know, old vintage ones started that trend years ago, right. but now I'm gonna show you the things you can do and things you shouldn't do when it comes to wearing jeans. Great. So the low riders, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera style jeans that we all used to wear, those Frankie B's and Rockin' Republics, those are out. Those are a no. Okay, thank goodness, because that was the muffin top thing. <laughs> they a lot did of women not just flatter. Unflattering, right? Yes, they didn't flatter most people. Right. So now the new trend is really that vintage 1970s, early 2000s. I hate even saying vintage as early 2000s, but it's vintage now. <laughs> okay. So it's the high waist, and I have my friend and model Sharon here. Hey, she well, is wearing. Out the high waist exactly where you oh, want it to fit. Right. So you want your jeans, if they're high waist, to fit right where your belly button is okay. and nothing higher because then it really shortens here to here. Okay. Anything from here to here makes your legs just look that much longer. It's really slenderizing too because it shows her nice slim midriff. It right? does. And traces her curves very flattering. It's very figure flattering. It does. And if you, I don't want to pull her pants, but <laughs> If you look and see and find any jeans that have multiple buttons, mm -hmm. those are gonna just suck you right in. Mm -hmm. So those are ones you wanna look out for, especially with high waist jeans. Love it, love it. Thanks, Sharon. Yeah, very flattering. So the next trend, this is really if you're a more daring person okay. and you like prints, pattern, color. It's not for everyone, but I, I'm a firm believer that if you love patterns, you should just rock it all the time. Okay. So this would be the two-tone jean. It's definitely gonna stop people in their tracks. So this style right here, I've seen this with one side is like zebra print, oh, one side is leopard print. The two-tone, it's really just the Gen Zers will go gaga over for it. Love it. <laughs> so this is your statement making jean. This is the, the statement jean. I would wear this probably with just a more form-fitted casual top, something that's not so, you know, just something subtle. All right, so back in the day, and I'm gonna show my age, statement making jeans were <laughs> acid wash. That was all the rage. Does that, yes. Very okay, sad. acid wash is one of those up there for me that's out. <laughs> I've seen people wear them and you can still wear them and rock them if that's really your style, but I, I am just, I am not a fan of acid wash. <laughs> so the next trend that I really love is just a regular style rise. Okay. Anything that's called a power jean is definitely gonna fit you better because whoever invented it knows that they want you to rock it with all your power. So, so this style is just a regular style the ends are a little more tapered, mm -hmm. and if you don't have jeans that have this, I'm gonna give you a little secret. Get your scissors and just cut them. Oh. If you have skinny jeans and you don't want them to be so skinny anymore, but you don't wanna buy new jeans, just cut them and then take the hems and just pull them out a little bit. I love it, it gives it a, a kind of a cool girl vibe too. Yeah, it. it's just it. the casual kind yeah. of like, I'm going to pick up my kids from school look, yeah. but I also am going out to dinner. Love it. The last pair that I love. Okay. This reminds me of my daughter. She's seven. She's fun. She has the best style out of anyone I know. The overall, just the casual flare leg overall that you can wear with like a cool waist bag or just a statement belt, something that makes you feel like you put it on on a Saturday and you can go to the farmer's market, you can go get drinks with your girlfriends, you can do anything in these. But I could see myself wearing those with a tank. So there'd be like, like the some cute tank, an off the shoulder yeah. top, something like off the shoulder, but 
the secret to the overalls because they can be very bulky. Right. You have to wear a very fitted like waist bag that or belt. Do. Something that, that makes this break up a bit and pop. I like that. So that I could do because then it also shows your shape. It and definitely not... helps your figure just kind of pop out a little bit more. All right, so <laughs> here are our shopping takeaways. When we go jean shopping, what are some tips that you can give Gen Xers from a millennial? And actually, they're probably universal tips because some of the same problems we have looking for jeans everyone are has. universal to any woman, right? Men, we all want women, our everyone. butts to look fabulous, right? So we, yeah. I definitely think that if you have your favorite brand that you know you put on that one pair of jeans that you got from them mm -hmm. and they have worked for you forever, find that brand and just rock with it until the day you die. We got the latest looks, tips, and trends for finding figure flattering jeans from a millennial to a Gen Xer. Thank you so much, Christine. Now listen, if you want to learn more about her lifestyle tips, news, trends, and fashion finds, you can check her out on social media. And I highly recommend it. She's a smart cookie.